Hey everyone, how's it going? Been a long time since I've just like vlogged and talked to you all, so that's what I thought I would do. Also, so many of you have been asking what camera I've been currently using because you've noted the difference and improvement in quality and lighting, which I'm so excited about by the way. Like, I feel like I've been waiting for this, you know, because as a lot of you probably know, I've been struggling with just better lighting, better overall image quality, just having a more like flattering, looking more flattering overall. So I'm incredibly excited about it. Um, if I don't know, some of you may know that YouTube actually granted, um, I believe like 500 YouTube partners, a thousand dollar credit onto the B&H website. And I was so, you know, like you wouldn't even believe how excited I was about that because first off, like first off, I didn't even receive the email. So YouTube actually called me and they're like, oh, you, you know, like, please do use your thousand dollar credit on the, the B&H website. And I was just like, what? Like, I was like beyond ecstatic. I, I just couldn't believe it. I thought, oh my gosh, because I had been, I had been intending on buying this DSLR camera for a really long time now. And it's the Canon Rebel T2i, by the way. I had like been really close to just buying it and then all of a sudden I find out that I have this thousand dollar credit to just use and I was like wow I you know patience really does pay off sometimes because I ended up not having to pay a cent for this camera which I'm incredibly grateful about by the way I I know like you know my boyfriend was like jealous about it um if he watches this so oh, I hope he doesn't but like I you know I didn't want to like tell everybody because I didn't want to like rub it in people's faces but you know like I I want to let you guys know that you know that this camera was pretty much free and along with that since you know this camera wasn't a thousand dollars it was a little under 800 I went ahead and bought a tungsten umbrella light kit which I like, but it does get really hot, and then you have to like replace the bulbs. So I'm kind of iffy about that. I mean, it was nice to get so much lighting on me, and you guys notice. I'm actually just using natural daylight right now. The sun is like setting, um, but this camera is amazing because it just picks up lighting so well. So all along, it wasn't so much about the lighting I had, it was about the camera. Like, it's how the camera picks up the lighting. Um, before I was using a camcorder, I was using my Canon Vixia HF200, 200, which has really like crisp, clear image quality, but the lighting was just always a little off. Like it just never picked it up right. And sometimes I would have like a grayish cast on my face. Sometimes it would just be really unflattering. A lot of times you guys would think that I've, I've just like put on a whole lot of weight and that really had to do with just, you know, unflattering lighting. Lighting is so key, like it really is. Um, natural daylighting is always great, but at the same time, like even with natural daylight, the my camcorder wouldn't even pick that up that nicely. Like it wouldn't look good on me yet. It would still look unflattering. And so this DSLR is a huge difference. Like. Even just working with it, it's totally different. It's much more challenging. Um, it's been a tedious process for me to like edit some of the videos on here, which is why I've been doing a lot more simple videos lately. But it's mainly because the current computer that I have right now um, can't even like really handle the footage off this camera because it's like so huge. So I'm actually getting another computer so that you know I can do more complex tutorials and stuff for you guys and not have to spend hours and hours and hours editing and so I can't wait for that um, stay tuned for that if you are someone who is just starting off with making videos I don't I wouldn't necessarily recommend the you know a DSLR because there are some fallbacks yes you get amazing image quality as you can see but there are some fallbacks you can't it doesn't autofocus so say like I move really close or you know I just move all over the place You'll see that I start blurring because it won't autofocus. It pretty much focuses on like one area, which is why I may seem a little stiff sometimes. But yeah. Um, also, with this particular camera, there are cameras with the flip, you know, LCD screen. This particular one doesn't have it, so I kind of had to do a different setup, and that that was all a learning process. Um, so those are just some fallbacks. It's not the easiest to work with. You do need a computer strong enough to handle the footage. 
And also, DSLRs tend to be, you know, kind of expensive, especially compared to a camcorder. Camcorders, you can actually get for a really good price nowadays and get pretty good quality out of it. So, that's just my word of advice. Yes, like, it's it can be tedious, it's a lot more challenging, but the quality is so amazing that it's worth it to me. And just seeing, you know, your reactions, your um, feedback on it, has really been exciting for me. I've, I've been just so happy. So yeah, okay. So I think I blabbed on and on enough about that. Um, thank you to YouTube. Thank you so much for, you know, granting that B&H credit. That was incredibly nice of you guys. And it was so nice just getting that call. They're like, hey, you know, go ahead and upgrade your, your filming equipment. I was like, yes, finally, like I've been meaning to. So, all right. Anyways, moving on. Um, what else is new? I actually just went to LA this past weekend and I had so much fun. I spent a day at the makeup show, which, you know, I, I kind of spent this trip as like half business, half leisure. And then the rest of the weekend, you know, it was just kind of spending time with my boyfriend. And that was a lot of fun. Um, he's amazing. <laughs> but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to go on and on about him. Because uh, he might end up watching this, which would be weird. So... Yeah, we had a great time. The makeup show was great. It's definitely different from IMATS. IMATS was on a huger level and it was really packed and crazy. And IMATS is also also open to the public, whereas the makeup show is only open to those in the industry. So that kind of like really cuts down on, you know, the amount of people that would would be going, obviously. So, um I did haul quite a bit and I'll probably film a separate makeup show haul video, so stay tuned for that. Also, um, oh, I have to note that Christopher Buckle, he was one of the keynote discussion speakers there. He was so amazing. Please, like, do check him out. He's worked on a lot of, you know, famous celebrities such as Mariah Carey, uh, wow, why am I drawing a blank right now? Um, Christina Aguilera, I think he said he was working on Madonna soon. Just a whole bunch of amazing people, and just his, like, outlook on makeup in general, I, like, I loved. Like, I really respected it. He even mentioned how he had, like, just a lot of, like, drugstore makeup on, and that just comes to show, like, it's not about the brand. It's about the makeup that you use that just works for you, that you like using, and if it works, it works for you. So, you know, he's saying that, you know, there's no need to be snobby about it, and I totally agree, as you guys can see, you know, like... You, you all know that I love, like, I love drugstore makeup just because it's fun discovering something at such a low price, you know? It's discovering something good at such a low price, and I think that's the biggest fun of it. Um, but keep in mind that you, you will see me using higher-end makeup, you will see me using other makeup that's not found at a drugstore, just because I want to try out a whole spectrum of makeup. I want to try out all different kinds. I'm not, you know, particular to just one brand or... I mean, it's really, to me, it's really all about having an open mind and just kind of comparing, you know, different qualities, seeing what ha one has to offer and what others don't, and that's really the fun of it all, just trying out different things. So, you know, don't think that I'm betraying you. If I do do a tutorial, if I do end up using a lot of high-end makeup, it's just makeup that I'm trying at that moment. But trust me, I still love my drugstore makeup a lot, and... Yeah. <laughs> if you're wondering what makeup I have on right now, it's actually makeup that was sent to me that I was just playing with earlier that I'm pretty happy about. So I'm probably going to film a separate video just talking about what I have on and um, just kind of like my first impressions of it so far. See, I'm going to see how it holds up throughout the day and night and I'll get, like, I'll get back to you all on that in that video. So I didn't want this video to be extremely long, which is already getting pretty long. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about maybe putting some clips from, from my, this past weekend trip. But this is already getting so long that I might not. I might do that in a separate video. I don't know. We'll see. But that's pretty much it that I wanted to catch up on with you all. Um, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm just really excited to pop up more videos for you all. Thank you so much for your support and all of your feedback. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys don't know how much you mean to me. And that's it. Love you. Bye.